Assalamu alaikum. I did not expect uh, to have this press conference this, uh, this evening uh, for circumstances that um, are unavoidable and extremely shocking that we have decided to have this press briefing as a response uh, to the postponement of uh, the gubernatorial elections in Mombasa particularly. Um, I have consulted with the, with the Mombasa team. We have, of course, equally consulted with the national team uh, and uh, wish to state uh, preliminarily our position on this postponement. Uh, this is uh, the first time an occurrence of this nature has happened in, in the polls. I don't recall of any other time such major elections like gubernatorial elections will be postponed on a mix-up that the ballot papers in Mombasa uh, are those of uh, Kilifi, or that, at least that, that, that is the, the information we have. We were actually informed uh, well before the announcement was made that uh, the postponement uh, was imminent on the basis that um, it was practically not possible uh, to have the elections on the basis that there were no ballot boxes, no ballot papers, and these ballot papers could not be delivered into Mombasa uh, timely for us to go into a poll. Uh, and therefore, we were given a time frame of a possibility of two weeks um, before the gubernatorial and the other effect, uh, elect, affected elections uh, are held. Our response is this. That is extremely negligent on the part of the IBC. But equally, the position of the party is that the coincidence of Mombasa and Kakamega are too curious to imagine that there was no foul play in this whole occurrence. You will all realize that these two areas had, uh, had prided themselves as being the strongholds of the Azimio candidate for a long time. Until uh, very recently, in the last day or two, we had, we had enough data, scientific, to, rea to, to appreciate that for us in Mombasa uh, was going to be a landslide victory against uh, the project that Azimio had presented against us. We were confident, we were well prepared, uh, we were very organized, our teams were in, were in place, our agents had been trained, we were on the verge uh, a, few, a few hours to the elections, ready to take on a decaying and a, and a fairly uh, out of touch uh, coalition of uh, of uh, interest that uh, brought Mombasa to its knees. We read malice, we read mischief, we read a design to preserve some counties of a strategic nature, including Mombasa County. Mombasa County is the next frontier of Uhuru's interests. Uhuru's interest in oil and gas, Uhuru's interest in logistics, Uhuru's interest in the port, Uhuru's transfer of port functions, uh, to his farm, Uhuru's interest in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in emerging mo uh, uh, the special economic zones. All this was a design that they wanted a stooge project governor to help them facilitate uh, their continued plunder and state capture. I, I don't read this coincidence at all. Uh, they had tried initially to suffocate uh, certain candidates who ran against the project, more particularly um, uh, Shaba, uh, my brother Sonko and Alimbogo mastered the courage, the, the resilience and the grit to be able to stand with us and to change fundamentally the mood of Mombasa County in terms of the electoral um, shape. Um, at this hour then, at a late hour, hours to the ballot, you're told the gubernatorial election has been postponed, or at least you're informed as a matter of courtesy. I do not think the coincidence is, is uh, uh, the coincidence is curious, the uh, coincidence is designed. 